The hardships of life for Palestinians living in Gaza are many, and for musicians it can be particularly difficult pursuing their passion because of few concert venues and access to instruments. In fact, Gaza has just one grand piano. But after a lengthy restoration, it's now been played in its first concert, as our Middle East correspondent Tom Bateman explains. A rare soundtrack to life in a region used to discord. This is the only concert grand piano in the Gaza Strip. After a painstaking renovation, it is now being played in its first public concert. And here is the piano. For the music students involved, a unique chance to bring this concert grand to a new audience. You can get the sense of how sad, but still kind of joyful this piano is because it went through a lot so um, every time I play it I remember where it was and where it is now. The piano had laid abandoned for years. It was rediscovered in 2013 in a theatre later damaged during the last major conflict with Israel. Now restored by a music fund that works in war zones it's been moved to a new home, one of Gaza's few music schools tucked away beside a Red Crescent hospital. On one level, this is just a story about a piano being restored. What makes it interesting and important is the fact that it can happen here in Gaza, a place where even everyday life comes with its own unique challenges and something that needs so much skill and expertise can take place in the most difficult of circumstances. The piano's revival was a three-year task. It needed special coordination with the UN agency to bring in skilled people and parts from abroad. Gaza is blockaded by Israel and Egypt, who cite security concerns. Live music events are rare in the Strip, which is run by the Islamist group Hamas. It's years' work, and uh, we're so happy that it uh, wakes up again now, and then it's uh, now not only in the concert, but especially here in the music school, it can really profit from people who want to study uh, and who are studying pianos. Few stories from here have as harmonious an ending as this one. The rebirth of Gaza's only grand piano needed energy and invention, says the music fund. They hope, despite the challenges, these kind of concerts can happen again. Tom Bateman, BBC News, Gaza City. Time now for a look at the weather.